what's up everybody, my name is Trifinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Last time we ended here on Fike Island, which isn't really a vacation destination, would you, wouldn't you agree? It's kind of infested with drowners like this little guy here and rot fiends, but we're gonna continue on in our quest to help Kira out a bit. We still have the magic lamp and if you use that lamp, you uh, shine a greenish light over whatever it is you're uh, looking at. We're gonna see if we can't find anything. There seems to be a small tomb here. And a chest. Nothing really interesting. I'm gonna disable the lamp for now. We should be able to spot any bases that can be uh, activated with the lamp. And slow down, thank you. So that was nothing. So the tower is still a ways off, as you can see. So we still need to tread carefully. But along the route, we should be able to find traces of ghosts. So apparently we've got ghouls as well, but not that we're scared of a little ghoul. I'm gonna try and finish this one off really quickly, as we just did. Because ghouls have the uncanny ability to regenerate. And there we go. Just lay into them until they, well, heal over. More rot fiends. So yeah, generally an area full of enemies. Which you should take on bit by bit. So we're coming across a little village as it seems. Bandits after the events that happened on this island, which we'll uh, get to know really well in a second. Ooh, a pearl and a seashell. It's always handy. How you like that silver? Okay. Luckily their pathfinding is terrible, so... We've got the upper hand here. Using your Witcher senses on this island is terrible, by the way, because you can see enemies all over the place. So there's going to be a lot of editing in this episode. There goes another one. Oh, look at that. Oh shit, that was not supposed to happen. So if you were wondering what happens when you kill a rot fiend while it's exploding, that happens. So I'm going to keep back for a second because there are still four of those guys left. So the back two are dead. And explode! And explode! And then the last one. Well, there it goes. And that's how you chain explosions. Okay, let's quickly loot these guys for everything they have. And continue on to the side of the tower.
And the rest of the ghouls. Okay, my armor appears to be damaged. I'm gonna pop a second swallow. Just because I need to. And goodbye. Okay, so let's look at that armor, because that won't last long otherwise. So, armor repair kit, amateur's armor repair kit, restores 15% of its durability and puts it back to 65, maybe even boost it to 80 again. Thank you. And down he goes. So that was, I think, the little last of the ghouls and a bunch of bees like that can be easily dispatched by uh, using Igni Diamond Dust. Oh yeah. Whee! Okay, let's see if we didn't miss anything. I'm gonna quickly look around in these uh, houses for some loot. I'm gonna also quickly meditate for a second, just to uh, refill everything. There we go. So now, I'm gonna start our investigation. I don't think there's anything near that boat. Although I should of course check. But the first thing you can do with a magic lamp is this spot over here. Let's try Kira's lamp. They're on to us! They'll not let Graham in! Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, lightly be gobbling meat. <laughs> We've no notion we he's coming to tear him to shreds. Waste clear, lads. Adam! And that's the start of the attack of the villagers on the tower. The one that started the massacre. That was a lot of stuff. Wow. Give me another one of those. Can't seem to be able to enter this place. Or can I? No. So let's enter the enclosure of this wall. And try to find out what happened here. As usual before entering an area, a quick save. Because there are a few drowners in here. Oh, it's a it's even a water hack. So Igni a few times to lower her armor. Dodging that doesn't really seem to work, but there she goes. And there is, should be, quite a lot of loot in here. In that chest to start with, and that's just a white wolf fight. Gonna take it anyway. It's handy to sell. And there's something in the shack. If I remember correctly. Yeah, there's a few things. So the manuscript page for the Ogroid oil. For the uh, golems, etc. Meteorite silver plate, which is also handy for crafting. And we get that twice. So I don't think there's anything over here. We can't close the walls. Because it's kind of locked off. I'm gonna check the other side of the wall. And then we'll enter the Tower of Fight Island. Oh, and there's a, a nice batch of uh, crafting materials in this chest as well. And at the back of the tower, as you might have already noticed, is another one of those green spots. Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now! Yeah, the annoying thing here is that it doesn't really frame it Millie, correctly. We... Oh, Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. 
Millie. M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So up. Uh, burn it. Ah. What? No. No. Stay back. Don't leave me. So. Seems that that massacre that happened wasn't really normal. Well, not fault with uh, with conventional weapons, as that man seemed to be cursed. Let's see if there's anything in here. Another batch of uh, crafting materials. Oh, a flawless sapphire. That is very precious. Very priceless. Okay, so I think that's it. So we could enter through this way, I think. So I'm gonna try that. Continue on looking for those green spots. There we go. And well, the town full of mice is effectively full of rats instead of mice. But the name still fits, I think. So. Again, at the entrance of the tower, there's another green spot. So just point the lamp. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now, sloshing around in his own blood and shite. There'd be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him and the daughter to the top. So they managed to kill the noble that was living here, but his children were still alive at that point. Giving the, uh, the enraged villagers the idea of going to uh, kill them off as well. So let's start the examining here. Rats, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on. You so that's another bit of banter, more flawless amethyst. The gems are lying around here all along. didn't come here to ask nicely. So yeah, that's that much we got it already. So there's another scratch here where the, the noble died. Many must have died here. And then we hear this banging. Which is not really normal, is it? Let's go upstairs. First of many. And straight into another one of these spots. Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. That's the first time we've seen Zerat the noble and Hurt, Alexander the magician that was working here. So, as you can see here, maybe I'll light it up with a lamp. There's a point where everything is drawn to. I'm not really sure if this is a bug or is it it's supposed to convey that this place is haunted. But that's what's making the banging noise. So let's look around really quickly. And find out what happened to everyone here. We know the noble died, but what happened to the peasants after that? Because they died as well. So there's another staircase over here. I'm gonna use the lamp anyway, so. And that's creepy. And that was not just one of those spots. That was actually a woman. A ghostly woman. And let's enter this room. Gold! Piles of it! I oh, won't do the dead any good now, will it? Strange is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? 
And he was killed. Yep, that's his dead body lying over there. So something, because that was a, a memory of a while back, after everyone died here, as he, he mentioned it. So something is still in this tower, killing people. That's not really fun, now is it? I'm gonna keep the lamp out just to uh, make, it, make it a bit brighter in here. There's a, a balcony over here as well. So let's check that out really quickly. Maybe suddenly get our full speed back. And another batch of crafting materials. And then there's this weird spot. I don't really see anything here. Okay, let's go back up. And again, the place where that woman was walking is again haunted. So I guess it's not a bug and it's supposed to be happening. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh god, hello! And there goes everything again. So yeah, I, I'm gonna suppose it's, it's supposed to happen that way. It's not really a, a bug. Anything else? Doesn't look like it, so on to the next floor. This is probably at the end again. Or not. Oh snap, stop doing that. Where are you? Have you got to the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. So, if you were still doubting whether she uh, she had any relations with that wizard, that kind of confirms it now, does it? There's marks on the floor indicating that there should be a secret entrance around here, and the lever is just beside this bed. So, there we go. Mysteriously opens. And we hear a woman's crying! A woman crying. Oh, that looks ominous as well. So let's get up this staircase. Hmm, looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped too. And this is where things start to get really creepy. So, let's see what this place can tell us. Ooh. And now we have someone we can actually talk to. Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? So this is Annabelle. Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. So let's ask about the mage so we can find out a bit more about Mr. Alexander. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Okay, so what happened exactly? Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us 
was rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. So, what was that potion exactly and what happened next? We want to know both of those, so... Um, what kind of potion was it? Remember its smell? What it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease, not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him, my beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and so, this kind of confirms what we already knew about uh, Kira being interested in the disease research that Alexander did. So, Annabelle claims that her beloved called out, her Graham called out, and she was actually tricked by him. Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. So, what did they do then? Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? So probably one of the most agonizing ways of dying. Alexander gave her a potion that would cause her to fake her death. But it didn't wore off in time, wear off in time. And the rats that were crawling all over this place ate her alive. 